Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are back trying more US goodies. Yeah, our good friends Paula and Al from Chattanooga, Tennessee were over visiting London. We went to see them and they had an awesome package of goodies for us. And this time, Paula went on a hunt and she really wanted to get us things that we hadn't tried. Uh, and she thought we'd have tried most of this, yeah, but we haven't. We haven't no. There was so much good stuff in there that we haven't tried and I'm so excited for. Paula and Al, you are far too generous. As um, always. As always. Also gave uh, Billy, our dad, uh, a bottle of Chattanooga, uh, what is it? Chattanooga whiskey. whiskey. Is that what just what it's called? That? It's 55 110 proof. It's the good stuff. It's the good stuff. Dad absolutely loved it. And Al and Paula bought another bottle for Dad. So he really appreciates it and says thank you. Paula managed to get us another flavor of wrap snacks. I, I thought we tried them all. I'm just still so like amazed by this whole wrap snack thing. I'm amazed too because they were actually good. Yeah. You kind of think, oh, is this a gimmick? So this is, there's no limit to success. Wrap snacks icon, Master, Master P. P. I've never RBQ heard. BQ with honey. I've never heard who Master P is. Is this him here? Percy Miller, also known as Master P, was born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. Growing up in poverty, he understood the value of hard work, sacrifice, and an education. Master P says the key to success is knowledge, investing in yourself, and never giving up. You're not going to be able to hear this, but if you want to hear what we're hearing, go to Spotify, look at Master P. We're going to listen to his very famous song with 15 million and a half plays. Pass me the green. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switcher. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage. Pass me the greens, I need some weed with my Hennessy. <laughs> You'd like 15 that. million? I, I've never heard. No, crazy. I wonder isn't it? if it's just very American. I don't recognize any no. of his music, so, so. But that's interesting. Yeah, and I feel like these are rap snacks. Icon. Icon. So, there so must that's be... like a higher level. Yeah, and I forgot you said this the other Cheese day. Puffs. Cheese puffs. Cheese puffs. The other ones and have been. Um, honey. The other ones have been um, crisps. Yeah, maybe they should have saved these for Puff Daddy. Oh, they're big. Wow. Wow. Chunky. Even our giant Watsits aren't that big. No. Mmm. Mmm. Wrap snacks, do good snacks. I feel like I just made a noise I haven't made, like, It was wow. quite primal. Mmm. Mmm. The kind of noise you expect, you know, a birthing buffalo. <laughs> Don't you think they have a slight flavour of, like, prawn? Corn cocktail. Maybe that's coming from the sweetness. Mm. Wow. No, it's so big. Great size, great puff. And it's such a lovely, sweet. It's almost not barbecue. It's so Just sweet. Just sweet. Yeah. It's been a long time since mm. you've had a wrap snack, but I'm pretty sure I remember loving all of them. Mm. This is so good. These yeah. might be my favorite. And the first few times we got them, we just thought they were a bit of like a novelty and they wouldn't be very good. Is it too early to say 10 out of 10? I don't think so. Mm. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Paula. Do you know what they actually taste like? The Japanese ones we've had. Yeah, more like teriyaki. Because they were like so sweet, weren't they? Yeah, it's more like a sweet teriyaki mm. puff. They're really good. Should we stop now? Mm -hmm. If they were wrapped in like a sweet wrapper, mm. I would have believed that they were yeah. sweet. Anyway, I was just trying out that TikTok hack. You can bring a can to like cold just by having a piece of kitchen roll. It's actually frozen, the kitchen roll. Oh, yeah. Um, wet it and then wrap it round and then put it in the freezer. And you could have done power freeze. a couple freeze. of minutes. Yeah, I could have, but. This is the prettiest. Like, yeah, it's really nice, it's isn't so it? It's so pretty. And then I got us some ice anyway. Yeah. Sparkling super fruit tea, jasmine and blueberry. Or blueberry Needs and jasmine. Needs and wants, what a cute name. Blueberry jasmine, I don't think I've ever tried anything. With natural flavor. antioxidants and prebiotics. And this company is called Slingshot. Oh, Slingshot Coffee Co. That's How interesting. Oh, cool. I love the little barcode on there. And the ingredients are filtered water, dried coffee cherries, which is cascara, organic cane sugar, blueberry juice concentrate, organic lemon balm, organic dandelion, citric acid, jasmine essence, natural flavors. Mm. Wow. That smells like something we've had. Yeah, that smells like a blueberry jam jelly. Mm. Oh, not the colour I was expecting. Yeah, well, I guess it's tea, isn't it? That smells delicious. You can taste the tea. You can. You can taste the blueberry. You can taste the blueberry. So what do you think to that then? For me, this is like the perfect refreshment. I love this kind I of can, thing. Yeah, I can see that. On a hot that. day, this is so me. Sparkling water, the little bit of like tea flavour. I love a nice tea. This is incredible. I love it. And it's got that caffeine pick me up. For me, I really do like it, but obviously it's not got that sweetness like yeah, a Fanta and a Sprite. Like. So I think I would usually 
go towards the more fruity, sugary yeah. ones. But it's a really nice change. It's refreshing. It's different flavors to what you're used to. It's a more of an adult soda, and that is hands down far better than La Croix. Yeah. All of those like flavored waters that don't seem to be that good. If it was just the sparkling water in the blueberry, I think it'd be quite bland. Yeah. There wouldn't be a lot to it, but because it's got the depth of the tea in there, yeah. it gives it like layers. So it's actually really enjoyable. What are you giving that then? I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Oh. Really good. I'll give it like a seven. Okay. It's nice. It's just not what I would usually yeah. go for. We've got two jello items here. First up, we've got Sour Berry Blue Jello Candy, candy squares. squares. What? These are three ninety nine. Do just, we think they'll be like the same sort of texture or? I think they're just going to be the a sweet, just branded Jello. The Jello pudding cups over there, they look a bit more like. Yeah, could be on to brand. do it. Cheers. Cheers. Not really enjoyable. I feel like these could go down well in America because you know when you get those candy belts and you get the different textures, this is kind of like a licorice-y one. I not say they're that sour though. They're not sour one bit. I think I was expecting them to be maybe a bit more like jelly-like yeah. because it's jello. I kind of wish they were a bit more jelly or thicker or a bit more chewy. Because I, I made some jello in the fridge and it was quite a thin layer and I hadn't put all the water in. So it was really amazing bite to it. Imagine if it had been more like that stuff from Japan. You know, yes. that little rubbery jelly stuff we got. Yeah. And each of the squares were like sugar coated, It'd be amazing. So I do like them. I just kind of thought like for jello, you'd maybe do something like, yeah, you know what I mean? Jelly. Bit yeah. more like, and like different and yeah. interesting. But they are cool. They're just like those um, rainbow belts. Yeah, they're good though. Yeah, pudding cups. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm so it's intrigued. so different. Never seen anything like this. And like, it's usually just like peanut butter cup. Mm. Oh my word, they're the they're cutest so things ever. Almost like a little caramel cup, but instead mm. of it being caramel, it's, it's chocolate. chocolate pudding. And I like that better because before we have had them with a the chocolate center, but it's like been like a mm. chocolate sauce or cream or something. That is so funny. That's actually kind of good. I've never had anything like that. At first I didn't like the chocolate on its own and then I worked it in mm. and I was like, oh, that's lovely. And then add the chocolate pudding. It's so rich and that is really lovely. It kind of tastes really like something nice. we've had though. Almost and don't bit, say pudding. <laughs> and almost a bit something we've had from um, Russell Stover's. Oh. Something a bit like that. It does taste like the Russell mm. Stover's. Oh, they, like they the have chocolate a chocolate filled one. Oh. But I think this is better. This I think is the, really the pudding good. pudding center is better. And how good is the cup? Like, I like mm. that it's thick and it cased and it held its shape when you bit Bricked into in, it. Yeah. And then you're left with that little pocket of pudding. Mm. Really nice. And the top piece kind of came off as well. Uh -huh. sat it in was there. like a little button. Mm. I'm interested because the main puddings are the vanilla and the chocolate. Yeah. I wonder if they do a vanilla center one. Oh, that'd be good. Mm -hmm. And do you reckon that'd They're be chocolate outside ones. or? I was thinking it'd be chocolate yeah. outside with a. I kind of want a bigger one of those. And then you break oh. the top off and then you can also scoop out the pudding. With the button. <laughs> you, oh, yeah, scoop it out. Yeah. That is And then you eat the so chocolate good. case afterwards. Yeah. Mm. I think I was thinking I would like the, the sweets more than the pudding cups. But after trying them both, the pudding cups are going number one. I think one. I always thought the pudding cups were going to be the best. They were really good. Really, really good. Let us know if you've tried these yet. And please let us know if there are any other flavors. Yeah, I would like to see a big version. Yeah. Like Oreo, if they took off really big. <laughs> yeah, do, they do like, the jumbos. The giant, the double stuff. What are you giving those? Is it a 10 out of 10? Hard question. No, it's a nine. Yeah, it's a nine. I'd say it's a nine as well. Um, oh, I've got a question for you though. Yeah. Would you prefer to have one of those or a pudding cup? Do you know what? I'm surprised I didn't ask that because I was thinking, mm. I think I'd actually prefer one of those to a pudding cup. Me too. It was really good. Because the chocolate makes it better. Mm-hmm. Just all of it together is yeah. amazing. Another new item, these Peeps gummies. Marshmallow flavored. So they're assorted chicken bunny shaped gummies. I think I was thinking these might be little mini marshmallows. Yeah, I wish they were like little soft. So I don't know. But they're gonna be sweets that taste, taste like, like marshmallow. marshmallow. They might be okay, Al, because... Really? They look a bit soft. 
Ooh. They're like those milky ones. They're not like um, translucent or clear. These look good. I just hope the marshmallow flavor is okay. I love the color of that blue. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, that is, that is so sweet. They, they smell, smell like, like marshmallow. marshmallow. They look like marshmallow. They look like you what look I like thought they were going to look like. I'm I was going worried in. they were going to be like hard sherbetty. Mmm. Mmm. They taste mm. like peeps, but are they just not marshmallow? Are they actually? No, asleep? they. That is definitely a gummy. That is not marshmallow. How funny. Do you know what that tastes like? What? Milk bottles. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So I don't know if you get them where you are, but here in the UK we have milk bottle sweets. I thought and they milk literally bottles look like a milk bottle. Were milky, but, but they're, they're actually, actually marshmallowy. Marshmallow so the colour doesn't mean a different flavour, does it? No. Well That's done, peeps. So many times better than I thought that was going to mm -hmm. be. I'd be interested to know if people actually prefer these to peeps. Do they think to these? And how many peep peeps could you say in peep peep in one <laughs> sentence? sentence? We have got mildly sour, wildly sweet chewy bunnies. That's funny, because usually Warheads is all about being sour, but yeah. these actually say mildly sour, but wildly sweet. We've got green apple, watermelon, and blueberry. I'm up for a bit of watermelon. I said blueberry, it's blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. My chewy bunnies are bringing on the cuteness. Sour, then sweet in three yummy fruit flavors. Does that say Wally there? Wally, yeah. It says name Wally then. Oh, maybe. I've never either. known that. Ah! Ooh. Now the... Oh! <laughs> ah. Look, they've kind of um, melted a little bit because I think that's sugar on top, Ooh. but it's gone kind of like liquidy now. Nice. These are more like translucent Looks ones. a bit like the famed um, Thornton's fish. Look how many greens there are. Thankfully, it's not lime though. Why do they do that? Is that to sell more? I don't know. It's like forces you to eat the ones you don't really want. Yeah, is it? And then you have to like buy another pack. I'm gonna go, mm. the pinks yeah. are watermelon. Me too. <gasps> mm. Denser than I thought. The texture's more like a vegan sweet. Are you going peeps though, or these? I prefer the texture of the peeps but I prefer the flavor of this watermelon. Really? Mm, I love the watermelon. I like them, but I'm actually going peeps because really? the milk bottle sweets are some of my favorite sweets. Whereas I've had like sweets kind of yeah. like this before. It's a nice change to the normal blow your head off warheads though. Definitely. They They're must probably have some been of my favorite warheads we've had. Yeah, they must be quite new. Even yeah. though they don't say new, I didn't see those previously. Maybe now they've got their brand reputation for blowing your head off. They thought, oh, we do something a little bit yeah. more easy going for Easter. Yeah. Mm. What are you giving the peeps out of 10? I'll give the peeps an eight out of 10. I'm going to go eight and a half, nine. I'm going to give the warheads roughly the same. I'm going to give them like seven and a half. They're on par. They're very different. And last but not least, <laughs> we have some popping candy. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a long time since you've had some popping candy. And this is by a brand I've never seen before. Usually it's the Pop Rocks. But They've what got have some we competition. Got? This is cupcake popping candy with a candy coating. Mm. Confetti. Are these just to have on their own or are these meant to be had? I think it's just on its own. On top of something. Not the most That's popping. A, the saddest popping yeah. candy we've ever had. <laughs> most disappointing. It's like when you turn up to a surprise party and it's like. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like. Yeah. Nice, but I, I would even say think nice. I think that shouldn't be confetti. I think that should be soda. Oh, is cupcake the brand? Cupcake's the brand. Oh, and I think I the flavor. When it tastes like cupcake. No. I've got like a weird taste in the back of my mouth now. Think of like soda though, like soda sweets. Does that not taste a bit like a soda sweet? It's more lemony to me. I've got a lot of lemon. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm thinking of it like a, but not a lemon like a good soda. Lemon. It's not the best popping candy, but I really like the packaging and the branding, so it's a shame. Yeah. But like if you're selling something as popping candy, it needs to be heard. Yeah. Otherwise you'll have these poor kids in the playground, they'll go like that. There's nothing. Mute. You can't take the crown away from Pop Rocks yet. No. Because that'll have you Pop popping Rocks for days. are number one still. Pop rocks are like sand. You know, you can have pop rocks and then days later you'll find a bit of pop in your mouth. Yes. <laughs> you, just, you just hear a little, like, yeah. oh, there's that pop rock I had at the weekend. <laughs> They're just so crunchy. It's been such a yeah. long time since we've had a and pop rock. As soon rock. as you crunch it, it's that like, pop, pop, pop. that was like you do. crunched it and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when, when you've got a toy and the battery's just like, mm -hmm. and it's just going. Yeah, like Penny's uh, penguin. <laughs> yeah. 
Hello. Hello. Five, six, seven, eight. Treat of the week. I think we've got two things that are going to be quite hard to... But, as I've said before, I'll say it again. My savoury tongue has won over this week because... It's well, it's funny because it's not that savoury, actually. No, actually, you're right, yeah. I think, even though I loved those pudding cups, these are also my really? treat of the week. They are just so good, aren't they? Yeah. If you are in a shop and you've walked past them and you've kind of also thought, oh, they're a bit of a... Gimmick. You know, gimmick. They are not. They're so good, especially these ones. They're the real deal. You have deal. to try. They're so delicious. So good. Paula and Al, thank you so much for those delicious treats. If you've not tried the wrap snacks yet, it'll be interesting to see what you think. Yeah, we should message Paula and find mm-hmm. out if mm-hmm. she's actually tried them. They are so, so good. Thank you so much for all of our goodies. We can't wait to try the rest now. Yeah. We did hand deliver Paula and Al some British treats, but if you'd like to try some of our British candy boxes, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, we can save you the trip to London and we can <laughs> ship them straight to your house. Yep, yeah, but we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.